Everybody, it's Glenn. So I just got the latest Masters of the Universe classic subscription figure from Matty Collector. It's Cobra Khan here. I do usually review these figures here on my channel when I get them. But this time around I'm doing something different and I'm going to give you a bit of an insight into a little custom project I want to work on with Khan here. So here is Khan out of packaging. Great looking figure, comes with this alternate flared hood, head. Now if you're a kid of the 80s like me, you will remember that the Cobra Khan figure back in the day came with a feature where you filled his body with water, pushed down on his head, and he squirted water from his mouth, like a cobra spitting venom, hence the name Cobra Khan. So as a custom project, I am going to try and produce an accessory which kind of imitates the venom spitting feature. So I have this Spider-Man action figure. It's from the third Spider-Man movie from a few years back. Comes with this webbing projectile there which fires out of his arm. So the plan is to take this Spider-Man web projectile and use it as a base to modify into a venom spitting effect for the Khan figure. So as you can see the webbing projectile does have a webbing detail to it. So what I'm going to do is apply some epoxy clay to it to produce a smooth surface texture so that the projectile looks much more like venom being spat. So I have now mixed up my epoxy clay. The clay I use is by Avis Studios. The clay, it comes in two parts. You mix the two parts together and then you have about 45 minute working time before it hardens up. So what I'm gonna do is apply this epoxy clay to the web projectile surface. And I'm using this cocktail stick as a tool just to smooth the epoxy clay out over the web projectile. Okay, so that's the epoxy clay applied, and you're probably thinking, yeah, it still looks pretty rough, and the idea was to smooth it out. What I'm going to do is let the epoxy clay go hard, do its fang, and then once it's hard, I'm going to um, sand the surface to make it nice and smooth. So this epoxy clay, before you do any additional work such as sanding it, you probably want to leave it for 24 hours or alternatively you can apply heat to the clay which speeds up it turning hard. Now the epoxy clay has hardened and I'm going to take some sandpaper and smooth out the roughness in the clay surface. So I've just finished sanding that out now, ready to fit it to Cobra Khan's head. So to fit the venom spitting projectile to Cobra Khan's head, I'm going to drill a hole in the back of Cobra Khan's mouth there that the venom projectile will fit into. And now 
now so that the projectile fits snugly into the back of Khan's mouth. I'm going to cut off some of the excess of the projectile here. Probably about that much. So I've mixed together the green colour and I'm just going to dab that on now to the projectile. And now finally to this, the finishing touch, I'm going to apply a coat of gloss varnish to it which will give it a nice shiny effect so that it looks kind of glossy and liquidy. So there's the finished piece. I've applied the gloss coat to it and I'm really quite pleased. I think the green of the venom is different enough to the skin colour of Khan. Looks a bit more toxic than the green of his skin. And I also like how the green of the venom contrasts with the red of the interior of Khan's mouth. So I'm quite pleased with the project. And here in these pictures I've taken, you see my Venom Spitting Khan in action. As ever, please comment, rate and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.